Hi everyone, Tori here with today's Finishing December Daily Quickly video. Today I'm working on December 10th and this whole page took me about 25 minutes. Probably what took the longest was the journaling because I had done a lot of journaling. So today I'm scrapbooking these two video er, photos. One that is a photo of my hot chocolate, candy cane hot chocolate from Tim Hortons. And the other one which is a screenshot of one of my December daily process videos that I had posted. Because I really wanted to document like how this year I had done a video every single day. And it just was really special. Um, I'm so glad that I was able to do that for you guys. And I really wanted to just document it. So um. I'm hoping all of these December daily, finishing December daily quickly videos will be able to get finished quickly. Um, uh, I think what's going to take the longest is actually just the upload part. So hopefully I'll be able to get these done and um, upload them quickly, <laughs> um, like the title. Um, I'm Most of these are going to be really short videos too because they really aren't taking me that long to finish. So like this one's only like 11 minutes and that's because things are finishing quickly. So I had this shaker pocket that I had made. It just has some of the um, sequins, some fake snow, and a white wood veneer tree. And I had made that in one of my December daily inspiration videos that I posted during the month of December. And I wanted to include that on the front of the bag just because it's sort of a fun element. So I hot glued that on there and then I just wanted to take it up a notch so I decided to add this flare in the middle of the tree and the truth is after this video is finished I end up taking that off um, but it's on there now and then I added these silver star sequins around um, just around the bag and that's it. Now I know that I could punch holes in the bag but I wanted to use some photos that were a little bigger so I actually decided to just put it in a page protector just to protect it um, and to make it so that I could use the whole entire bag because if I had punched holes in the bag it would, cut, it would take out like probably half an inch of space. So I grabbed a couple of um, 4x6 journaling cards and I have this one that's just like blank grid lines and I'm going to use that for journaling and then the other side was a card that says holiday and it came in the I believe the main kit from Allie Edwards and I thought it would be fun to use that for journaling and because I have a lot to say about this day I want to journal on the front and the back now I thought about also grabbing a 3x4 card to add more journaling I don't end up doing that I mean I go through them but I don't end up picking one. So I'm going to use this holiday card, but I just wanted to add a little bit of embellishment to it. Um, remember, I'm trying to keep this simple, so I'm not going to over embellish it. I just added a strip of gold heart washi tape from Freckled Fawn, and then I'm adding a title here. So the title says holiday, but I sort of wanted the title to be holiday craziness um, because I'm going to talk about how I filmed... 31 um, videos and posted over 31 videos in the month of December for my December daily video um, inspiration. So, or the videos that I posted. So if you didn't know, I posted a video every day during the month of December and it was a lot of craziness, especially since they all had to be uploaded and ready to go and scheduled before December 10th when I um, was getting ready to leave for Uganda. And then just to finish off that card, I just added a couple um, white epoxy or enamel dots. And then so the front, I journaled about the craziness. And then on the back, I thought it might be interesting to do a to-do list. So I'm going to use the back for a to-do list. I used these Color Theory Gray Slate, I think, um, letter stickers. And I just put to-do on a piece of vellum and then cut it into like a fishtail banner and I just stapled that onto the top. And then I'm just looking for something that I can use for my to-do dots. And so I go through my December related stamps and I have this one that has like just a little tiny star and I thought that would be perfect. So I'm gonna stamp um, dots for my to-do list and then I'll add the journaling. 
and I'm using um, green and red color theory inks. I'm using well red and I can't remember what the green is. And basically what I did was I did every other green, every other red, just to add a little Christmassy kind of feel. And then I'm just writing down all the things I had to do, like I was finishing up things for work and running errands and uploading videos, scheduling videos, walk the dog, go to Walmart, just a bajillion things. And um, I just wanted to have a to-do list. I thought it was like a great glimpse into what I was doing at that point in my life. So after I added the to-do list, I had this like blank spot and I wanted to add some kind of embellishment there. So I had those felt circles with hearts from a freckled fawn. And then I also had this red epoxy sticker or puffy sticker and I just added that on top because I wanted a little pop of red. So that card is done and then I'm left with the photos and the tag. So the back of the tag has some has a little bit of like leftover mixed media on it so I wanted to cover that up. So I just used this red striped paper. Um, fussy cut around it and then I really wanted to add more journaling so I stamped the date and then I'm actually just going to add my journaling in the white space of those lines and I'm just talking a little bit more about like tomorrow's when I leave for Uganda and I'm really excited I'm nervous but I'm also like really thrilled about it and that's basically it I just added a blue epoxy heart at the bottom and then this is Candy Cane Hot Chocolate, and I realized I had the photo, but I didn't do any journaling. So I just grabbed a tag and added the Candy Cane Hot Chocolate from Tim's is my favorite. And I think that's pretty much all I do. I might grab a heart. Yeah, I do. Grab a gold heart and add that on the top. So that's pretty much it. What I don't realize is that my camera shuts off while I do a couple last um things but I'll be back in just a moment and I'm going to walk you through what I actually do to finish up this page. So I'll be right back. So my video cut off a little bit so I finished this page without realizing that the video wasn't recording. You got most of it but I just wanted to show you what I've done for the 10th. Um, so I have this done which you've already seen and then inside of here I have all of the cards and photos for the 10th. I'm just going to pull those out so you guys can see them and so you've already seen me do this but basically I have the, the card with my journaling on here and then it says holiday craziness and then on the back I have a to-do list and then it was empty here so I added this embellishment um, from Freckled Fawn just for something fun. Um, and then I have this vellum piece here which I had to do on and I t use my tiny attacher to just staple it on there and then I have my to-do list there so that's that and then I have two photos for today I have this one which is a, a screenshot from my computer when I was filming just finishing up all of my December daily videos that I posted every day and I just wanted to keep this simple I decided to just put a sticker on there that said happy because this was the last one and I was proud of myself for finishing 31 videos and getting them uploaded before I left for Uganda. And then this photo, I kept it fairly simple too. I just added a label to put candy cane hot chocolate, my fave from Tim Hortons, and this gold puppy heart from Freckled Fawn. And then on the tag, I left the front blank. I just added this paper clip up here so that I could clip the photos in it together. And then on the back, I just stamped the date with a um, roller date stamp, added some journaling about how I was feeling before leaving for Uganda, and then added this blue epoxy heart down there. And I was going to avoid using blue, and I think I still might, but the reason I added it was because there are some blue here, so I wanted to bring like another element of blue. And this photo has a lot of blue in it as well, so I thought it would be okay. And I'm just tucking those all into this um, little craft bag. I'm just t paper clipping those together and just sticking them in here. That one's just a fun um, element in an album to have something that you can like pull out and feel and touch and just something a little different. And right now the back is blank, but I know that I'm going to 
um, change that tomorrow. I have a photo that's going to go on the back of here. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me as we finish up our December dailies quickly and check back um, for the next video, which will be posted really soon. Thanks, guys. Have a lovely day. Bye.